Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moves Tarot here, here for another reading for the sign of Libra. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribe, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watchers, grab a seat. Alright, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you, thank you so much for your continued love, likes, comments, and shares, and continue supporting and subscribing to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. There's no time, no gender in tarot. This is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe, subscribe. Because you just never know when you need to hear this. Alright. Alright, Libra. Let's get to your reading. Let's get to your reading. Ancestors, angels, universe. Any messages you would like for me to relay back to the sign of Libra. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. We're using a new um, oracle deck. Um, this is called Black Hollywood Romance Stars. Hello. You barge in my room like that. Ah, my puppy, man. She's something else. And then she, she goes out, okay? Fighting with my son. That's what she does. It's her it's her type of type of play. And then barks at him at that. <laughs> Alright. Ancestors, universe, angels, any messages. Alright, thank you. So yes, this is called the Black Hollywood Romance Stars Oracle Deck. Sorry to Alright. First card that flew out. That also came in reverse. Listen and reflect. Sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. Alright? And that came in reverse, which means you or your person may be lacking of that. Okay? I think you guys are doing more probably arguing, more conference like, you know, more of a dispute. I'm not sensing too much of a heated. But we could look for more further into it, okay? But for it to come in reverse, you guys are lacking that, okay? Sexual healing. Sexual energy can be used to reconnect. Let your bodies release some tension. Enjoy pleasure. All right? Okay. So from a lot of, from a lot of not listening, a lot of bickering, sometimes a little, you know, fight, kiss and makeup can do the trick, you know? I mean, it doesn't always be the answers for everything, but I mean, for here, I guess you guys are doing what it do, okay? Especially when it comes to you guys um, trying to compromise after a long conversation. And maybe this is what it needs to You guys need to have a long conversation. And after that long conversation, there goes intimacy, all right? Which it, it, it always ends up very, very good, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's love-making baby type of sexual healing, okay? And it's just healing the mind and the body and the heart. Falling in love, exactly. I cannot make this up, okay? I think you guys are lacking of communication. I think you guys needed a tower moment. A tower moment occurred where you guys stopped communicating. And then you guys needed that separation to recognize what it is that y'all actually really feel for one another. And there's a lot of passion in here. A lot of passion that doesn't need like something simple as communicating when y'all going through stuff, it, it will serve y'all more good than bad, okay? So I think you guys were lacking in it and y'all realized that all y'all guys needed to do was actually listen to one each other. It's a vibe. Enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other. And that also came in reverse, okay? Which means falling for this person, wanting that sexual healing, doesn't mean that that's where it stops right there. It means you guys still need to work on communicating, okay? Just because you guys kiss and make up and you know you guys are falling in love with one another, but the fact that you guys lack communication is where you guys are going to continue continuously bump head, okay? Where you guys will get stuck in a, in a way where y'all don't know where to what to do with one another, but stop talking. And that's not what y'all want to do. You can tell by the energy, neither one of you guys want to do it. Y'all you, you both are falling in love. Y'all getting to know each other. Y'all realizing the, 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 the love is so strong that you do not want to let it go. Okay? You don't want to let it go. However, but due to the fact that a lack of communication can, can really stagnate a, 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 a union. Okay? It's a vibe, right? It's a vibe. I'm working on myself. See? Someone's taking time to work on themselves because they know every time that they come in, they may be the problem. They may be the reason why certain things do not work out 
in your favor because they know they have to work on themselves okay while you're sitting here probably thinking that this person's out doing or communicating with other people no they're actually working on themselves meditation is the key sometimes we got to pull ourselves away from our parent more to know what it is that we stand for ourselves what, what what could we do possibly okay for ourselves to be better for someone else because you can't be better for someone else and you can't and you don't you don't know yourself okay you can't self-reflect and take time for yourself see now if you have a partner who don't get that and nags and nags and nags because it could just be you Libra that needs that time apart and that need that space to clear in mind and do your thing and your person to un don't understand that and said they react it's all right give them that space give them that time to realize that all right is it that serious is it that serious is it there's there is there a need for you to be irrational at this moment okay because i'm kind of sensing that your person needed to take a needed to fall back a little bit to realize or oh, you need to take you needed to take time and fall back from your person okay take how it resonate the next card i understand this connection is different i got it exactly this person can't continuously escape every time things go wrong they can't continuously think that all right now that i'm not talking to like or some um or libra did something to me so i'm gonna just run because sometimes not everybody's gonna chase you not everybody's going to not everyone's going to um want to figure out what it is going on with you because you're constantly doing the same thing every time so, sometimes it looks like it's going left okay and when i talk take how it resonates i could be talking to the crossroads i could be talking to the libras you know what I'm saying? It's about the energy and it's what I'm giving off. So, you know, take what applies, all right, please? Because um, I don't want to keep going in circles and get myself confused on who I'm actually talking to. You know who it is, okay? And you and you know what you know what the vibe is, all right? Understand this connection is different and I got it. So this person understands that this is, not, this is nothing compared to what they've been through, went through, you know, um, um, have ever encountered. You're different. You're different. And they know they have to tread lightly. Okay? They 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 have to. They have to tread lightly. Alright? So with this card, it kind of gives me a little where I give up, let go. Okay? Your person is tired. Tired and, and, and frustrated because of the fact that they feel as though they don't understand why sometimes you need that space from them. Not even space from them, but sometimes you go into that hermit mode and you just want to self-reflect on do your own thing. And this person is willing to say, I give up. I don't feel like they're actually really giving up, okay? I want to talk to you, but I don't know what to say, okay? Because I think your person decided to say, to throw the towel and said they're good on you, okay? And then now you guys are in separation. You guys are in separation but there is there is a chance to rekindle this. It's not over. Okay? I think your person is just having a slight bit of a tantrum. Alright. They're they're going through their own cycle of, you know, of feeling that no one is listening to them. No one's paying attention to them. They want attention. And right now you're working on you. You're giving yourself love love and self-care. And they don't quite get that. Okay? So instead they try to Project how they feel onto you as if you're the problem. This is it's just something within them within them. Okay? And you don't want to stop what you're doing because you know that you're trying to better yourself. You're working on yourself so you can be the better you for this person. Now, if you're really if you're still realizing that you need a little bit more healing, you need a little bit more time and growth on your own, let your person know that. Do not keep this person, and, and maybe this may not be the quite time to, to say anything. Let it simmer down a little bit. Let it marinate. Okay? Give your person some time to reflect that you're not here to play games with them. You 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 know that you don't want to let go of them. You do not want to let go of them. But this person wants to say, oh, I give up, just to piss you off. Okay? Just to get a reaction re reaction out of you. All right, and while they're selling, they give up, and then you actually give them what they want, and actually like really put your hands up. This is where they say they want to talk to you, but they don't know how to say to you because they're the one. They don't want to look stupid because they're the one who told. They're the one who initiated for y'all not to talk anymore. 
They're the one who said that they're good on you. So they don't want to look stupid by coming back to you, okay? By coming back to you knowing that they're the ones who threw the cards, you know what I'm saying? Threw the, threw the towel in and said they're good. But you knew they weren't really good. That's why you didn't fuss and fight or fight against that. You gave them what it is that they wanted, okay? But they do want you. They're not letting you go. They're not giving up on this. But they did tell you that. I'm pretty sure you're probably now, you know, you're in your own your own mood and you're on your you know, you're trying to figure out is could this really because you're also in your own pride and ego. Because we all have that time. We all have that moment where we are in our pride and pride and ego stand because of the fact of how that person thought that they could just let you go because something didn't work into their favor at the time that they wanted it to work out. But it takes patience and compromise and understanding from your person to another person. Okay? So this 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 separation is temporarily. Okay, it is very much temporarily. I feel like you guys will try to communicate and talk about this. Everybody has their free will. You might just say, you might put your hands up and say, alright, fine. If you want to give up, then fine. You're good. You give them that, that person. But does that mean it's going to be the end? No. It just means at this moment you're giving them what they want because right now you're working on you. And self-care is not selfish. So if you want to take the time that you need to take the time to be the better version of you, that way you know that you're actually really ready to fully commit to this person, then do that. Vice versa. But don't let anybody, don't let anybody put fear in you are feeling like you're losing something because you're trying to make sure you don't lose yourself in the process. Because that's what's most important. You have to take care of you if in order to take care of anybody else. All right? And that's that's true. But that's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Till next time, Libra. Uh, peace.